I've not heard from my uncle Roland in quite some time. I've been beside myself with worry. Could you meet me in the courtyard? Adelaide Oaks, isn't it? I received your owl. Yes, I'm Adelaide Oaks. Oh dear. You see, my uncle Roland is a metal trader who's quite well known in the goblin community. He normally sends me owls every week when he's on his business travels. In his last owl, he alluded to dealings with those radical goblins, Ranrock's loyalists. It's been ages since that owl and I'm worried. What with the troll attack on Hogsmeade and the rumours that goblins may have been involved, well, I'm fearing the worst. Should I be worried about my uncle, or am I overthinking this? I think you're right to be concerned, Adelaide. Your uncle may be in trouble. You're much more understanding than Professor Weasley. She heard I was going to look for him and forbade me from leaving the grounds. She's convinced he can handle himself, but I can't concentrate on anything until I know he's all right. I... Ugh. Could you try to find out for me? From what I hear, you're almost as adventurous as Uncle Roland. I'll try and look into it for you, Adelaide. Thank you. He's very thorough in his record keeping, notes all his trades in a journal, makes maps. In fact, in his last owl, he drew me a map of his next stop. He'd planned to set up camp north of here. I do hope you're able to find out where he is. Thank you again for any help you can provide. Get yourself into. I hope Adelaide's Uncle Roland is all right. She seems very worried. Adelaide mentioned her uncle's camp may be near Brockborough, past the river. This would be Mr. Oaks's Ranrock loyalists. Just ahead. Should I take them by force or be discreet? Yeah. Journal. Adelaide said that her uncle kept notes of his trades, maps. Perhaps these landmarks will lead me to him. I should investigate.
formation. That's the first landmark on this map. Now to find the crooked tree. What do we have here? on the map. Best have my wits about me. Place it. Oh, little moon car. Far from home, eh? Leviosa, <laughs> you almost had a lucky shot. Place it. Just keeping you on your toes. What will we find in here? Rebellion. What's that? Who's there? It's punishment to us all.
Revelio. Seems quiet. Too quiet. A human's word is worthless. This prisoner owes us the metal we were promised. Potential! Uh, uh, Stupid uh, one! Uh, ow! Shut up! Uh, Quiet! Drag this out longer than necessary! This will not go well for you! Stupid one! Uh, uh, to open it. Rebellion. Incendio.
One way or another, we'll get what we're owed. Is somebody there? Uh -huh. Rebellion. Rebellion. This must be Mr. Oaks's wand. Perhaps now he can set himself free. Rebellion.
Rebellion. Hello? Mr. Oaks? Yes, I I'm here. They've taken my wand. This cell has an enchanted lock. I have experience with these locks, but I need my wand if I have any chance of opening it. Look for a boiler door. I've heard them speak of it. Fortunately, I've already found your wand, Mr. Oaks. Please, pass me my wand. I can't get out of this damn cell without it. It's my last hope. Please. Rebellio. You did it! I oh, found my wand and... Wait, you're a student? Oh, we must get you to safety immediately. It's dangerous. It's all right, Mr. Oaks. I've dealt with these goblins before. Dear Merlin, you're either very lucky or very talented. Well, how did you find me? I'm a friend of Adelaide's. She was worried about your business with Ranrock's loyalists. Oh, she was right to be. I couldn't go through with the agreement, and when I told them, I ended up blindfolded and behind bars. Been locked in that infernal cell for so long, they'd forgot I was even there. I overheard things. If only I could reward you for what you've done. Blasted goblins stole every canut on me. All I can say is thank you, truly. I'm grateful I was able to help you, Mr. Oaks. Adelaide thinks the world of you. Oh, and I, her. She's become quite savvy to my trading habits, always analyzing my detailed owls. Oh, if only I hadn't resorted to trading with such fiends. A lesson I shan't soon forget. Having my wand back is like being reunited with an old friend. I must return home and inform Adelaide of my safety. Will you be all right? I'll be fine, Mr. Oaks. You get back to Adelaide. I assure you, her worries outweigh yours. Oh, I'm anxious to see my dear niece. And then I plan to travel far from here for my next round of trading. Thank you. May life reward you justly for your deeds. Be well, my friend. Mr. Rokes was lucky. Ranrock's lot would never have freed him. Thank you. 
said that travel broadens the mind. Hello, Sorona. I received your owl. How are you? Hello, my friend. Did you ever find Lord Gog? I did, thank you. In fact, we're working together to try and rein in Ramrock. Are you? Hmm. I suspected you and he would get along. Perhaps best I don't know details of your plans. And I shall refrain from telling you to be careful yet again. But I hope you will be. I... Of course. Your owl mentioned you're needing my help with something? I do. I thought you might be just the person to do a favour for my friend Dorothy Sprottle in Upper Hogsfield. Hmm. I don't believe I've met Mrs Sprottle. She's lovely. Her late husband Aidan was a friend of my father's. In fact, I'd stay with Dot and Aidan the summers I waited tables here as a student. I've seen her a few times since Aidan passed, but the pub's been so busy lately, I've not been as attentive as I'd have liked. I wonder if you might pop in and see her. She may need some help collecting ingredients for her supply of Wiganweld potion. And you could retrieve something of mine in the process. A box, um, full of old letters and such. <laughs> I'll try to go and see her when I can. It would mean the world to me, and to Dorothy. Aidan was bringing the box of letters to me when he was taken ill. Dot can tell you where he might have dropped it. You'll find the hamlet just north of Hogsmeade. Please do give Dot my love. Looks intriguing. Ah, Upper Hogsfield. Bard of Beaumont should have returned by now. Had by dark wizards he was. Excuse me, did you say something about Bard of Beaumont? I did. I don't think we've met. I'm Dorothy Sprottle. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother, Bardolf. Only he's gone missing. Rumour is he was seen in the forest practising dark magic. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders, especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. I'd help search for him myself, but no one will risk encountering Ranrock's loyalists. They seem to be everywhere. I can certainly look out for him. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has some insights that I don't. I can tell you that Bardolf was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper, one that Claire knitted herself. Claire will be at her shop if you'd like to speak with her. Hope they know what they're doing. Yes. 
so. An entry from Bardolf's journal. He overheard whispers, a plan, something to do with him. Hogsfield. No where to fall. Oh, I do hope no. my brother is all right. I couldn't help but overhear. Did you mention Ranrock's loyalists? I did. Never imagined they'd act this deadly. I'm Claire Beaumont, by the way. Nice to meet you. Ranrock and his followers have set up camp here. No regard for our beloved Hamlet or our livelihoods. Ruthless. My brother Bardolf dared to stand up to them and ended up in St. Mungo's. I'm simply at my wit's end. I'm unfortunately quite familiar with Ranrock's loyalists. Perhaps I can do something. <sighs> Much as I would love to be rid of them, I wouldn't want you to risk injury or worse. Please be cautious. We should not have to live in fear. This is our home. Quite the flyer. It seems as though things are getting worse. Best be on my guard. How nice of you to stop by. One of Ranrock's camps. Exactly as Madame Beaumont described. <sighs> Wizards are running scared.
One more to go. Revelio. seen better days. Ah, up at Hogsfield. Oh, I do hope my brother is all right. Hello, Madam Beaumont. Good news. I was able to clear out Ranrock's camps. You cleared them out? How? I managed to catch them off guard. When my brother returns, this news will mean the world to him. You saved our hamlet, my young friend. This will not be forgotten. I fear for other hamlets, truly. Ranrock and his lot are unlike any goblins I've ever seen. What do you have for sale? What are you looking for exactly? Thank you. Sincerely. Oh, I do hope my brother is all right. Oh, I do hope my brother is all right.
Hello, Mrs. Sprottle. Actually, Sirona Ryan asked if I'd come and see you. Oh, dear Sirona, a gem has been for as long as I've known her. She thought you might need help collecting ingredients for your Wigan World potion. And she's correct. My darling Aiden used to collect hawk lumps for me. Since he died, my supply has dwindled. I'm sorry for your loss, Mrs. Brottle. Oh, thank you. Love of my life. A bit lost without him. If you wouldn't mind gathering some hawk lumps for me, I'd be happy to compensate you for your time. I can certainly try and find some for you. That would be wonderful. I'm worried about the travelling vendors and would love to get the more Wigan World potion. Sirona also mentioned that Mr. Sprottle was bringing her a box of letters when he fell ill. Indeed he was. I'd almost forgotten. I stumbled upon it just before Aidan died. He was hoping to go through it with Sirona over a butterbeer or two. Uh, those two were always like two bow truckles in a branch. Aidan took ill when he was collecting hawk clumps on his way to see her. He made it home, but I fear he dropped the box in the cavern. The cavern is in the hills just southwest of our hamlet. You can gather hawk clumps and collect the box of letters there. Thank you, Mrs. Brottle. Thank you. I'll be here if you are able to collect those hawk clumps. I and the vendors I help would greatly appreciate it. I hope they know what they're doing. This must be the cavern Mrs. Sprottle mentioned. Revelio. If I wanted this little excitement, I'd have a job at a bank. Let's have a look around, see if I can find that box of letters. Incendio! Almost there. One more hawk lump to harvest. That's all the hawk clumps for now. Mrs. Sprottle should be pleased. Fight that troll, or avoid it altogether.
Incendio! Rebellion. Rebellion. This must be Serona's box of letters. I think that's everything. Serona will be glad to have the... By Mrs. Brottle. She'll be glad to get these hawk clumps.
This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Hello, Mrs. Sprottle. I have good news. I was able to harvest some hawk lumps for you, and I found Sorona's box of letters. Oh, thank you. How wonderful. The traveling vendors will be thrilled to replenish their stock of wig and weld potion. And Sorona will be delighted to have those letters. How kind of you. Now you be careful heading back to Hogsmeade. I should take this box of letters. to go into the forest. Hello, Sorona. I have good news. I was able to provide your friend Mrs. Sprottle with some hawk lumps for her Wigamel potion, and I found your box of letters. Oh, thank you. I knew you were the one to ask. I'm glad I could be of help. Mrs. Sprottle sends her best. Don't know what I'd have done without her and Aiden. Thank you, again, for helping her. And for returning this box of letters. It's nice to reflect on good memories. <laughs> 